Welcome everyone to another wonderful episode here at Jaws Podiatry. Very interesting case. Super duper guy. Just met him today. Yeah, we, can, we can go on television together. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a sense of humor, and, and as everyone uh, knows, I love uh, patients. We're, we're in the catering business over here. That's where they are. Okay, super. 95 in Pembroke. Okay. So you don't drive that way. Uh, I actually see the street seats. from where the plane crashed. Let's continue. And we continue. Cue action. So this is really, really interesting. Uh, the patient has, uh, we'll say, we'll call it a golf ball, right? Uh, he's had the golf ball for a very, very long time. Um, the patient, you would say the golf ball has been there a couple of years. And it basically just came out of nowhere, right? Okay. No trauma, no injury. Um, no. Right. The problem is the patient has what we call idiopathic neuropathy. He's really not sure from what. Non-diabetic. And that's part, you know, at the core, that's the problem. The problem is we have a structural deformity. We have a, a structural deformity which at the core is the problem, but then we spr we spritz, right, the neuropathy over, and that's what is causing this big callus, which has an underlying ulceration, because it's already draining. So let's take a look, right? So as everyone can see, even from the side, we got the golf ball right here and as everyone can see it's already draining from the central portion so we're going to go ahead and you know remove some of this callus to uh, uncover right because we know there's an ulcer to uncover the ulcer you know i'm very concerned because he's seen a couple of clinicians and they really haven't done a whole lot for him You know, um, he had a he recent... Went to the emergency room. You went to the emergency room? At uh, Memorial Pembroke. Okay. They didn't do a whole lot either, probably. Nah, they're very busy and it's a lot of, you know, a lot of trauma there. So there's undermining. We've done this before. I probably wouldn't have gone there. Sorry about that. My daughter-in-law that go there. She works on the helicopter. Super. The callus never lies. So, you know, the first thing that we want to do, I already have a plan in mind. First thing we want to do is he's going to send us a copy. Any pain? I may have it downstairs. I'll, I think I left it in the glove compartment. The glove compartment? In the car. Yep. This callus from here. remove all this undermining tissue, right? Oh, undermining means get to that level, right? That it's actually tunneling. So we wanna just kinda uncover everything so we can actually evaluate everything.
Here, can you uh, hand me a little Q-tip, please? I'm sorry? I'm sorry? What's that? Marosporin? Marapacin? Um. I had some left over from something else. So, you know, I'd like to, what I'm going to do here is, again, it's called the probe to bone exam, just to see if there's any 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 bone I get the uh, the nipper the big nipper I like for just use the nipper here just to take out this what we call you know fibrin tissue whether it's a tissue nipper nail I don't really care as long as we debride what needs to be debrided so we'll remove all of this just fibrin tissue here we don't want to go Okay, Caesar, can can you have a good visual there? Maybe we can put the foot there a little bit better. Let the public see. So now that we've uh, uncovered the ulcer, now we'll do the probe, right, to bone. So you guys can actually see right how deep it is and it's probably deep just because it's it's empty right this is like a pocket look look at this look look how deep it goes right I can feel it I want everyone to look at this I can feel it over here I can feel it right here that's the tip all this and then we're gonna go this way. Remember, I'm not pushing. I'm looking for the bone and I don't feel the bone, okay? Which is great news for a lot of reasons. <clears throat> so what we're gonna go ahead and do, my, my plan is gonna be very simple, right? Um, The plan, the plan is um, local wound care. He already has some antibiotics, no active signs of infection. First step, close. I'm taking antibiotics now. Right, 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 no, you took. The first step is to close the wound, which will entail you not putting any weight on the foot. This is where you become a compliant patient. want to get around the house you will yeah we'll make some recommendations but your biggest enemy is pressure we need to close this you know very quickly and it will close because you have a lot of blood right blood is really really good you got good flow and once we close it the band-aid the short term the shoes the you know the um the custom molded shoes with custom molded inserts sure we can do that but i'm looking at you're young and this is going to become a chronic problem it's been a chronic problem you got the callus it opens up it closes then it opens up and it opens and then i mean how much longer can you go you it's you know strike one strike two strike three and then you're out strike three is bone infection you've heard that before maybe maybe not I've had infection in it, but not all the way up the leg, you know. But have you ever had any type of surgery in this area before? That's what I mean. No. Only the toe over here, that's what I want. Right. But my concern is, 
you know, our, our goal is to prevent bone infection, prevent limb loss. So once this is closed, then I'm going to make some uh, recommendations regarding uh, a minimally invasive little procedure to kind of saucerize, shave that bone, remodel it, try to take off that weight, right? That bone spur, so to speak, that you're, that you have there, that is the, at the core of the problem. So then it won't come back. It comes from the little toe, right? Not the little toe, from, okay. from the metatarsal. Okay, so you know this. This is like a, you see how I can just grab this whole thing. It's like, a, it's a, you know, it's like a, it's like a golf ball, a soft golf ball. That's a callus. No, the callus is underneath. Everything else has developed, and you know we're gonna take a look at the MRI report, and see and see what we got there. But until then, I'm gonna definitely keep everyone afloat on this patient's progress. This is a, you know, unfortunately, it's an interesting case. Um, kind of looks like, you know, like another great toe just kind of like popping out of the side of the foot. But it's all good. You're in the right place. Good. Yeah. Best place to be. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't get better than that. We have a plan, which is the most important thing. Everyone, please do your homework, right? Not all surgeons are created equal. I've always said that. Nobody, I mean, I've only seen a couple of people, but they didn't want to cut into it, you know, they're done. That's why, that's why you're here. Prescription and a, you know, another appointment, but it didn't work, you know. Yeah, but that's why you're here. The guy up north had me on antibiotics for a month and a half. Only creating resistance to bacteria. More antibiotics, more antibiotics, more antibiotics, more antibiotics, more antibiotics. And some more. And some more. That was a... Sephora, what is it, Sephora? Sephora. We'll culture this, send him on his way, knee rolling walker, the whole works. Stay off of it, whatever works. We'll get, you know, we'll make it happen. You gotta move a little bit around, you know. You will. As always, www.jawspodiatry.com, Instagram, Dr. Tojam, Jaws Podiatry, Facebook, and last but not least, our YouTube channel, Jaws Healthcare. I want to take this opportunity to thank this young gentleman for allowing us to do this today. All right, and we'll I'll bring that. I'll get out and see if the uh, MRI is on. Just give it to the girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have a wonderful week, everyone. Stay safe. Where does that go?